I used to flip out when I was little whenever I would hear Mr. Whippy and I would like cradle myself. It's a problematic relationship if I hear Mr. Whippy now. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Are you all ready to go? I quit it, yeah, ho. <laughs> Melanie Linsky, Heavenly Creatures. Uh, um, and then her and Ever After. Pretty much Melanie Linsky and anything, to be honest. In primary school that was as well, so, yeah. You watched Heavenly Creatures in primary I, I know. school, bold. My parents did not know. Um, Neopets. Do you remember that? I loved it. Just making the pets was my thing and I loved naming them. Do you remember the news article? I really connected with this baby girl called um, Kahuro Tete when she got, she got kidnapped and then she got found, which was amazing. So I called my first Neopet <laughs> Kahuro Tete. <laughs> My favourite record compilation of all time, Charlie's Angels Full Throttle Soundtrack. Loved it, memorised every single song on there. It's literally everything from like Bowie to um, Donna Summer to Beach Boys to Pink to Pharrell. Like it was honestly like the musical education that I believe every, you know, child in the 2000s needed. The first time would have been in 2013 and it wasn't happy, it was like, it was very sad. It was after the death of my best friend. Her name was Tsihema, she's so beautiful. We were only like 18 and so there was like a bunch of like all these really heavy feelings to be honest. I ended up just writing a song and um, that was really amazing and, and very healing and it was called Angel Eyes and it had like Probably the verse, the pre-chorus, and the bridge was all in the deal. Mm. My first day of school, I rocked up in a lion mask and I got on all fours and I charged through that classroom. Everyone was weirded out. I know it's not like clothes per se, but it was definitely like the utilization of aesthetic to make a point. <laughs> <laughs>